fairly common issue of users over tightening this screw that holds the thermistor in the uh, the heat block and what this can do can it can cut the insulation on the thermistor leads causing uh, an error on your Ender 3 and, and similar printers. Now if you uh, correctly install this screw it will actually be quite loose. There's no there's very little holding the screw in and personally I don't I don't like that. This screw can vibrate loose especially on a brand new hot end uh, when there isn't any gunk uh, build up to, to hold the screw uh, and, and keep it from vibrating out. It's a possibility so my proposed solution is remove the screw acquire a replacement grub screw for the heater cartridge if you're replacing a, a hot end then you'll have a grub screw on your original or the one that you're replacing remove this screw from the old uh, hot end and thread it into the hole that the retainer screw for the thermistor lives in. Screw it all the way down until it bottoms out. Now when you install your thermistor and the retainer screw. You can actually tighten the screw all the way down against the grub screw and it leaves an appropriate gap. In fact I'll show it I'll show it without the thermistor. That's actually tight against the top of that grub screw, and there's plenty of clearance there for the wire for the thermistor without pinching or cutting. And there's tension on the threads, so this will retain in the heat block no problem at all. It won't fall out, and you can be sure that you have positive, uh, positive retention of your thermistor as well. You'll definitely want to use a second grub screw because you do not want your heater cartridge coming out. I use the same grub screw here just because uh, I had it on the table. I am replacing my old hot end though uh, with this new one so what I'll be doing is, is putting the, uh, the old grub screw uh, on this hot end. So anyway, I hope this helps some people. You definitely don't want to pinch that wire. Uh, it can compromise the, the thermal control of your printer and uh, cause it to act potentially unpredictably. So, hope this helps somebody.